hi guys welcome to another video whereby i'll be analyzing vex 25 index and then i'll start on the daily chart of which is the 24 hour chart and then firstly i'll be looking at the overall market structure on the daily chart of which we have been pushing to the downside for the longest and then we have this overall descending channel around this point and then i'm catering for the current market structure i won't be looking at the price in this area i'll be just looking at this price around this point here whereby we have two touches at the top and then i think we have two touches also at the bottom so initially we are looking for buying opportunities reason being we are at the bottom of the structure and then you can just put it like this if you want and then just to make sure that we are catering for all the touches clearly and then we are not leaving anything out so that we don't get confused on the lower time frames so we have this touch here and then we have this touch here and then we have the touch here at the top and another one around this point whereby the market came in a form of a descending channel and then decided to break the descending channel and now we are looking for those buying opportunities to initially create the third touch or break structure and then continue buying from this point up until i don't know where it will end uh, the buy trend so now we can switch to a four hour chart since well we have each and every information that we need on the daily chart we know the overall structure is pushing to the upside so now i'm catering for the inner structure so we have a pattern within a pattern a descending channel within a descending channel so this is the overall descending channel like this so i'll just try and cater for it the way that i see fit so this is the pattern that i have around this point and then you can initially see that we created like a trend within a trend around here uh, let me just do this and then this is the trend that i'm talking about here you can see that this is a trend clearly pushing to the upside and then i remember we took a trade in my vip group whereby it resulted in a loss just because we were not focusing on this overall trend around this point here we were not focusing on this area here whereby it was clearly showing us that we are going to push to the upside uh, for some period of time so we did not cater for this type of area here we were looking at this as a double top area around this point i think it was this point here whereby we had like this double top and then this was the ascending channel that we were looking at and then for continuations up until like this point and then that's when we will be looking for those buying opportunities forgetting that we are focusing on this trend whereby this is an impulse up this is the corrective move and then we can continue up until we reach the third touch or the overall 90 percent rule of which is for this overall larger pattern within a pattern in here so now we are just going to focus on this structure here whereby i'll be just using like the overall 90 percent i'll put the 90 percent just because we don't know if the market will just decide to break structures around this point here it will be a valid trade just because it came from an impulse up this could be the larger corrective move whereby we sell off so we're just going to keep like the 90 percent rule around that point and then i'm going to remove like the ray line just because it's already useless and then i mean the one that i plotted around like this point here so it's no longer in use so i'm just going to use like the current structures and then let's switch to the hour chart and then just look for an entry on the hour chart so we are on the hour chart and then what i will do is that i'll just show you the entry that we took just so that you can just understand that the market will just follow structure each and every time doesn't matter what you think so we had like this type of an ascending channel here and then we had another ascending channel within here of which we should have taken like this entry at the top of the structure but we missed the early entry at the top of the structure so as you can see here this is the impulse up and then i think we initially took the trade around this point here i think it was around this point whereby the market tagged us out for break even i think or a loss so now we are currently focusing on getting like a re-entry whereby we are changing the direction to the downside then to the upside 
and i think we can just cater for the current structures then as you can see we have this larger impulsive move this is the corrective leg and then we can have like a last push to the downside whereby it will just react to this trend line and then clearly push back to the upside and follow the overall trend that i was talking about so i'll just wait and see what happens from there and then what i'll do is that i'll just cater for this current as expanding pattern around this area here just like this and then just make sure that i'm in the right movement i'll just use like a ray line and then as you can see this ray line here will just give me that confirmation that we have an override at the top of the structure or we can initially get like the the touch of this uh, expanding pattern of which it will be at the top of the structure around this point here and then that is where we can look for those selling opportunities and then to initially buy back the market from this area here just because this is where we look for those buying opportunities most of the time as you can see at the back of this price action we had like this corrective move whereby we can take like a risk entry at the bottom of the structure to initially push to the upside so that is how i'm looking at vex 25 and then i'll not forget to uh, cater for that 90 percent rule of this pattern here let me just do this so the 90 percent rule is around this point that is where we are looking to get like uh those uh take profits around this point or around this point here of which it's the 90 percent rule so at this stage we are just focusing on this area here to see if we can get like those cells short term cells up until the trend line or we break structure up until the 90 percent rule of this pattern here and then we look for those buying opportunities from there so yeah i'll see you on another video i hope you got to take a few pointers here and there and then don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and you can drop a comment of where you see you can drop a comment of any video that you'd like to see from me and then yeah